morning students and hello parents welcome to standard 3 mathematics class today we are going to learn chapter 10 geometry from active mathematics book 3 the word geometry is derived from greek words geo means earth and metrons means measurement measurement of any shape of figure relates to geometry in class 2 you have learned the basic shapes like rectangle square triangle circle etc let us learn little more about these shapes or plane figures you all know that plane figures can be drawn on a flat surface so let's start children look at the chart here plane figures which is the first figure here children is a square a square has four equal sides and four corners the corners are also called vertices the next one a rectangle it has also four sides the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal it has four corners next one a triangle it has three sides and three corners or vertices is a circle it has one curved surface or face let's do this exercise in the following pictures write r in the rectangles s in squares t in triangles and c in circles these are plain figures so what is this children is a rectangle so we will write r opposite sides are equal and it has four sides and this children is a circle it has one curved face this children triangle it has three sides and three corners this is also a triangle three sides and three vertices this children is a square four equal sides is a rectangle this children it's a circle and the last one is a square now let's learn about solid shapes an object that occupies space is called a solid a cricket ball a pencil a brick etc are solid figures some solid objects have curved surfaces while some have plane surfaces some solids have both plane and curved surfaces now let's learn more about solid figures it's a cube a cube has six plane surfaces called faces Twelve edges, eight corners or vertices. Each face of a cube is a square, and the twelve edges are equal in length. Now, next one is a cuboid. The same as a cube, it has six. faces 
edges and eight vertices. Each face of a cuboid is a rectangle. Now children, what is the difference between a cube and a cuboid? In a cube, all the six faces are equal or identical. But in a cuboid, only opposite faces are identical or equal. Now let's see the next figure. It's a cylinder. A cylinder has three faces, two plain and a curved one. It has two edges and the cylinder has no corner or vertex. Moving on to the next figure, it's a sphere. A sphere has only one curved face. It has no vertex or no edges. The last one is a cone. A cone has two faces, one plain and a curved one. It has one curved edge and one vertex or corner. Now children, let's learn about point line and ray first a point a point does not have length or thickness it simply shows a position here the corner or the vertex is the point a line it has neither a beginning nor an end. It continues indefinitely on both ends. Here X and Y are two points on the line. The arrows show that the line continues on both ends. A line has only length and no thickness. The length of the line cannot be measured. Next one, line segment. A line segment is a part of a line. It has a beginning and an end. A line has no beginning and no end but a line segment is a part of a line and it has a beginning and an end. And a line segment can be measured with a ruler. Here P and Q are line segments. It has a beginning and it has an end. And we can measure it with a ruler. Next one, curved lines. Lines which are not straight are called curved lines. Only one straight line can pass through two points. This is a straight line. It can pass through two points but many curved lines can pass through two points. Now children, let's answer these questions. Name an object with only plain faces. Name children. A book, a board. Number two. Name an object with both plain and curved faces. A drum. Just plain and curved faces. Number three, name the shape of a globe. What is the shape of a globe, children? Yes, spherical. A line segment has a beginning and an end. True or false? Yes, a line segment has a beginning and an end. 
Number five, we can measure the thickness of a coil. Can we measure children? No, it's false. The last one children, a cube has dash faces, dash edges and dash vertices or corners. A cube has how many faces children? Six faces. How many edges? Twelve edges. And how many corners? Eight corners. So children, what did we learn today? We learned about plane and solid figures. An object that occupies space is called a solid. We also learn about a point, a line and a line segment. A point has no length and no thickness. A line has neither a beginning nor an end. It continues indefinitely on both ends. A line segment is a part of a line. It has a beginning and an end. The length of a line cannot be measured, but we can measure the length of a line segment with a ruler. Children, for better understanding, read the lesson twice. Parents, worksheets related to these topics will be uploaded on the school website. Please go through them and help your child to do the work. Thank you.